All right, tapping to exhaustion. Has that happened to you? First of all, let's define what we mean by tapping to exhaustion. There is no submission being applied at all. It is the point where someone reaches the point of total fatigue, total exhaustion, and in their mind, they make a decision that they can no longer continue the role, thus they tap. We're just, we're just under mal, we're under technical mal, we're under, we're, we just said, you know what, I'm done. Have you done that? And if so, how did that make you feel? I got to be honest, I've never tapped to exhaustion. I've never done it. Now, full disclosure, I have felt fatigue, felt exhaustion, and given up in the middle of a role. I think we all have. I think part of growing in jiu-jitsu is learning to recognize the moments you want to do that and then reverse engineer it and go in the other direction. So you feel yourself giving into fatigue, which means you're going to give up a position. That's what I've been guilty of. We've all been there. Okay, so we've been there. I'm talking about that when you get to that point of exhaustion and you physically tap and say, I'm done. The first time that happened to me, I was so confused. I got to tell you, I was so confused because I knew I wasn't applying a submission. We're two and a half, three minutes into this five minute round. We're tapping. I was like, is, can you do that? Is, is that? is that appropriate? Is that okay? I didn't know how to respond. I've been thinking about that. What's the appropriate response? Is this okay? It's not all right. It is not okay. I'm going to tell you why. Not only is it cheating your opponent, it's also cheating you. Now, let's look at both of those angles, okay? How does it cheat your opponent? If your opponent has gotten you to a point of total exhaustion, then one of two things or a combination of these things have happened. One, they have been much more efficient with their energy than you have, okay? They've earned a reward in that. Or they're in better cardio shape. Probably a combination of the two. There is a reward that they deserve in having that. You feel that energy gone in its own. It's like, all right, what submission do you want to work now? And you've earned that. that that's something that you deserve to reap a reward of. And that's kind of fun. You cheat someone when you tap to exhaustion. But you also don't just cheat them. You also cheat you. We say that jujitsu teaches you to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. True. But it also is a unique opportunity to learn to push through and win the mental battles. Because if you are reaching the point of exhaustion and you just tap and that's your way out, you are not helping your jujitsu. You have got to get mentally tough and learn that a huge part of jujitsu is to turn the switch when you feel that and know you can always give more and learn to push through. And here's the other thing. In a world where we don't feel like consequences matter, there are consequences for giving up. I feel like when you do that, you're cheating yourself of the consequences and consequences. So if I give up in a role and now they take my back and choke me out, well, guess what I learned from that? If I just tap prior to that, then I just feel like oh, I can, it's, it's an easy way out, to be honest with you. And it removes the consequences of me giving up mid-role. And I feel like we deserve those consequences for giving up in any small way, shape, or form during a role, because when those consequences come, lessons come with them. And isn't that the goal to continue learning? Isn't the goal to recognize moments where I'm weak and I need to get stronger in? So look, I made a commitment when I started this channel. I actually wanted to bring value to anyone out there in the jujitsu world who's trying to implement things into their game to help them. And so I want to help you right now. If you're tapping to exhaustion, stop. You're not helping your opponent and you're not helping you. Accept the consequences from how whatever position you're going to give up and whatever submission you have to tap to. You tap to the submissions and then you learn and you reverse engineer and go back and go, okay, I gave up at this moment and that's what led to that. And that will make you better. Now, how should we respond if we're rolling with someone and they tap to exhaustion? Well, in short, I would say it depends. It depends what rank are they, how, what, what relationship do you have with this person? You know, what, what relationship do you have in the, in the gym? What role do you have in the gym? Have you earned kind of some favor and, and, and an ear with people by showing up on time and by helping people in the journey? You know, you've done those things. Here, here's my response. I always extend a little grace because, look, I get it, especially to whites, even blues. It's like, I get it. I don't think that's happened in a long time, anyone higher than that. But it, it, most of the times it's white belts. So obviously we want our white belts to keep training. So I've learned to be gracious. Hey, all good. I'll give it to them one time. Someone taps to exhaustion the first time. We're good, man. Okay. I get it. Hey, no problem. It happens again. 
we're having a gentle but firm conversation. It goes something like this. Hey, man, all good. But listen, we got to get to the point to where we don't tap to exhaustion. You're only cheating me and you're cheating yourself. So let's work on that. I get it that it happened. But man, let's learn to win a mental victory here. Like, and you can, you can have that conversation and be positive and be encouraging, but they need to know it because if not, they're, they're just going to continue to cheat themselves and others and never know it. We've got to break it. I think it's an extremely bad habit in jujitsu. Doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. And it exposes that there are moments when we give up. We can't let it lead to tapping, but even for all of us, maybe you don't tap to exhaustion, but you're tempted to give up. And it might be that you're gaining maybe a little more rest than you should, right? In certain positions, oh, I can relax here. Why? No, you can't. Like, get moving. Get out of there. Turtle's not a place of rest. Like, that's not a place you want to hang out. Like, but, but people do it all the time. It's like, I got the turtle. I can relax. No, no, no. No, you can't. You got to move. We got to move now. We got to get out of there. So good conversation. I'm curious what you guys think about this. Do you think it's okay to tap to exhaustion? Comment below. Let me know. Again, I want to keep content coming your way. It's going to help benefit everyone in their jujitsu. Thank you guys so much for listening. It means a ton to have your support. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Share this video with someone. Until next time, guys, train on.